Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Hope y'all been having a good time, enjoying your day, making it through on your health goals and just enjoying life in general. Today we got a lot of numbers to go through. This is the week over week, weigh in and all of the other vitals. A1C was also done today. It, uh, the next test will be done in 91 days, uh, June 10th, June 19th, you know. Uh, and that's because Juneteenth falls on a Saturday this year. So I found out that exactly 90 days would be on a Friday, so I just pushed it back a day. So other than that, thank y'all for tuning in. Let's get into things and see how I did this past week. My calories are much lower than anticipated yesterday. Uh, I didn't really try to eat this slow. This just had a day one. Ended up uh, fasting, or I ended up intermittently fasting a bit yesterday. Because I was just a bit OCD about trying to find my equipment. So Saturday that was a pretty fun day. So I even got to drink some wine. Uh, golden milk has been standing on the menu. And I'm going to explain what that plus ultra is on the supplemental cocktail um, eventually. It's not yet. Just basically I just added more stuff. Pretty much some more of the things that I took out that I was doing on day one. I've also decided to try out a diet soda. Basically diet rights cola. I wish he thought this was the one that Matt Pat was potentially recommending. And uh, he did and it's essentially do so, but this isn't the one that was Kroger brand, but based upon the ingredients in it, one from the Kroger brand that I saw, this one would be slightly better. I am very happy to avoid aspartame and I usually don't mess with sucralose and the others, but I'm willing to mess with them just a little bit, just to get a regular pop like test from time to time. This isn't gonna be a constant multiple times a day thing. Especially since I left a can in the freezer yesterday while I was making that no pasta salad. And as you see, the one on the left is that can. It looks like it had, like, you know, an oopsie in its diaper. <laughs> I'm scared to open it. Yeah, so steps are still all over the place. I mean, most of the today's steps were technically uh, gained before I even went to sleep because I was up quite a bit last night. About those first 4,000 steps of today were taken before I went to sleep. So we know Friday is only showing 5,900 steps. I should really be closer to 9,900. And I'm as low as about 2,000 steps today so far. At least from waking up. Okay, and this is why I weigh myself daily because there are so many anomalies coming up throughout the week. And some days are crazy and some days are off and you never know what's going on with your body. But you can help to quickly correlate what's going on if you do it daily. And you gotta share it daily like I do, but it won't hurt unless it really weighs so heavily on your mind. See that, that's a 3.3 pound drop. Now, I've been trusting what it's been doing more so the last few days, but yeah, um, those probiotics, the new probiotics I've, I've got that I've added to my supplement mix, they've really been helping me to feel better and they have been helping out with regularity as well. So I want to believe that they definitely help contribute to this. So, yeah, almost solidly under 338. Hopefully things will still be cool throughout this week without me needing to just go up and down like this, but I know that's part of it. Part of this whole battle here. The weight is gonna go up and it's gonna go down. It's based on what you eat, what you drink, how you sleep, everything. I mean my lips are still a bit bloated from when I you know, slept on the couch by mistake sitting up. Still are in a little pain from that, but overall they're starting to go back to normal. So I'm looking forward to next week. Okay, so this is where I'm currently at as far as all of my measurements are concerned. I know that this doesn't do a lot of good because you're not able to see what the previous ones are. So let me just pop those up on the screen real quick. Oh, are you expecting to see the old numbers next to the new ones? Yeah, I probably should have did that. I was not thinking this through. It's still possible for me to stop and do it now, but you know what, let's just go through it this way. So you're seeing a lot of things have gone down, a few things have gone up. Overall, this app or these measurements are saying that changes are happening to my body. I'm not able to see it. I don't feel it. Uh, I'm not feeling a difference in how any of my clothes fit at the moment. I have not been able to wear any clothes that I bought a while ago that were too small yet. So, yeah, it's a bit too early on to expect to do such a thing. But last time I was able to jump from really big clothes to clothes I couldn't fit prior to that point. It was about a year or so ago and that was great. So I'm looking forward to going down to the next level. I got some shirts that I bought a few years ago that are about two sizes smaller than what I wear now. So it's gonna be great when I can finally put those on. So yes, yeah, so I'm at 337.7 pounds now. 
Nice. Happy about that. I'm even happier about, though, is my blood pressure. I can't believe it actually is that low. So yesterday, I just attributed it to being later in the day, more calm and relaxed based on what I was doing. But today was just a normal day. You know, same as every other day, I measure myself. And 133 over 87. I mean, yeah, it's high blood pressure stage one, but it's, it's so close to just being standard and normal. Now, these are just a couple of days. Right now, this is kind of an anomaly. So, it's going back up as we see. We'll see what happens over the next few days. Okay, now, I said in a previous video that ACEs, as far as breath meters are concerned, correlate one and one to millimeters per mercury, uh, millimeters per liter of mercury, but that's not true. What I'm mistaking that with was uh, the biosense meter. It measures your breath, your ketones in ACEs, but they correlated it for you within the app. I'm not using the Biosense meter, even though I wanted to, because it's $400. The meter bought cost less than 100 bucks, if I remember right. And it was, you know, quality enough, good enough for my purposes here. So, fine. It's great. I don't know how to correlate this yet, but, you know, so far it's looking better. <laughs> Uh, at least compared to last week. It's definitely looking better compared to last week from what I'm guessing here. The messages given to me by the apps are different. And, and I'm seeing that as you go up in levels within, you know, my current meters app, you know, every, you know, full point, you're getting closer to a higher stage of ketosis. So I believe level five or so is when you start to get into real ketosis. But right now, besides some of the early stages, this was back when I blew into the meter. So if it goes up tomorrow. Okay, so now this is what you're seeing here is me doing the actual A1C test. And it's actually honestly pretty complicated. There's a lot of speed up in this because I have to keep reading the instructions. It's pretty simple once you've done it once, but you know, with all the warnings and oh, don't contaminate this, don't contaminate that, don't open certain things before you need them and certain things need to be opened at this point. Just, I had to be sure, very sure that I was not about to waste my money. I have four tests, but I am not planning to fill out a single one. First test was today. Next test is going to be June 10th. Looking forward to it. Uh, I mean, it was nice to know today's results. I mean, it'd be nice if I went to a real lab too and paid out for that as well, but this is going to be at least consistent for me, give me a baseline to work against. Just to let me see that, see if whatever I'm doing is working or not over time. So three months is a good amount of time to wait, especially with the results that I got to see if I'm making any headroom. So hopefully I do the test a bit better next time, but I think I did okay enough this time. But my actual results, I'll wait for them to pop up on screen for you to see them. Instead, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to partially cover the screen with information about what the A1C is. All of this information is courtesy of the CDC. And take from the website, it has good information there. This is the best, most neutral information I can see. This is also going to help to contextualize the information, basically the results that we're about to get. At. So as you see, you pretty much cannot fake the results to this test, at least not easily, unless you know how to make the solution. But this, this takes a look at the sugar that your blood cells have been holding for the past two to three months. So you can't just eat a donut and it ruins your A1C. It'll ruin your glucose test for the days, but not your A1C. Okay, so now this is an at-home test, but despite that, I mean, the accuracy on this is pretty high, at least according to A1C Now themselves, and as well as many of their reviewers. Now, many of the people who complained about it, there were a lot of double negatives there, like, you know, negative review, and either negative or kind of dumb-ish person, so I can't trust their review. At least not all that much. So I want to believe that it works well, or at least well enough to be a good baseline or comparison point. But as you're about to see here, these are my results. Quick check. <laughs> Not the number. There it is, I'm at 6.5. I'm at the borderline of diabetes and being pre-diabetic. That means three tests are left. Yeah, so pretty much, according to this test, if it's accurate, I'm diabetic. I'm like right at the edge, like the first step of diabetes. I want to believe that since I've been working to get my glucose down over the months, and it definitely has come down, that I was probably much higher on my A1C before. And that now, since I know where I'm at, I'm going to take the same test, 91 days on Juneteenth, and we'll see where I'm at. That number should be higher 
I mean, that number should be lower. And that number will be lower. I can damn near guarantee it. Okay, but getting back to my body chart from earlier. Once again, these are my current numbers. And let's take a look at what that actually looks like. Okay, so that's it folks. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless you all. I want you to have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Have fun.